You're probably not going to see this travel tip <laughs> anywhere else on YouTube, but they sell portable bidets. So it's this water bottle and you can fill it with warm water and then it has this nozzle that comes out at you know the perfect angle for you know what um yeah so your girl travels with her own portable bidet because that's what i like to do <laughs> i don't know it's just nice to be fresh and clean <laughs> this is probably the most talk about behinds that you will hear on this channel so bear with me Hello beautiful people, welcome to Classic Confections. I'm your host Kendra and tonight I'm coming at you with a late night vlog <laughs> because as the title would suggest uh, we are getting ready to go on a family road trip tomorrow and of course it's like it's almost midnight. Oh, it just turned midnight. <laughs> it's midnight and of course, you know, no matter how early I start packing, it's like just a ritual of mine. I'm up late the night before a trip. I guess I'm just like so excited that I don't know. I just have all this nervous energy. So <laughs> with that being said, I was getting ready to go to bed, hence me having no makeup and I'm wearing this like house dress caftan thing that I showed you guys in my last video. Um, yeah, I was on my way to bed and I thought, you know what, let me film what I packed for you guys. So, <laughs> I want to try to do this quickly, so let's just get right into it. So, oh, wait, I didn't even tell you guys where we're going. So yeah, we are going to Niagara Falls. Yes, I'm very excited. So this is a little bit off season. Um, we'll be there for about a week going at the end of March leading into the first week into April but the reason we picked Niagara Falls is because one we're in this panini or panoramic whatever you want to call it <laughs> and I wanted to stay in New York State we live in Manhattan New York City so I didn't want to have to deal with crossing state lines and having to possibly have to take a, a test before we get there and all of that jazz or having a quarantine and all of that you know whatever so I was like let's just stay in state and also too I wanted to go somewhere that was outdoorsy but also not crowded I feel like since things are starting to open up a bit people are out here losing their minds so I was like you know what let's go somewhere like off peak <laughs> where it won't be too crowded not the tourist season I don't even care if it's cold I think it's gonna snow one of the days we're there I was like you know what I don't even care I just want to be somewhere where we can have fun as a family but still be safe so we chose Niagara Falls which is one of my favorite places to go and also too one of my earliest childhood memories is going to Niagara Falls I think my parents must have taken me when I was about three years old and I remember wearing my little red rain poncho and just feeling like the water streaming and like hearing the sounds so yes that's one of my earliest childhood memories and as you guys know I have a toddler named Christian who is almost three and so I thought you know how fun to take him to one of his mom's happy places so <laughs> that's how we chose Niagara Falls so we're renting an Airbnb we got a whole house in Buffalo and yeah I'm just really ready to relax get a change of scenery, get out of the hustle and bustle of New York City, and wear my cute outfits and I'm going to show you guys. So I will show you guys here. Let's turn this around. You can see everything that I packed. So my philosophy when I pack is I try to pick a color palette or a color scheme and stick to it so that way everything goes. So we are going to be up there for about a week and so I packed an outfit for like every day plus like a few extra because I'm extra <laughs> all right so let me just show you what I packed and then uh, it's late I might try things on but I don't think anything is new so I might just pop up pictures sorry <laughs> but the first thing I packed is just a pair of black leggings I feel like this is just a staple on any trip so if we do wind up there's like this easy hiking trail I was thinking about doing so if we do wind up doing that little trail I can just toss on these black leggings I have a couple of um, t-shirts and a sports bra on my bag in case I want to do something you know athletic maybe work out do some yoga Pilates in the morning because um, you know to be honest I'm not gonna be like <laughs> busting my butt on vacation but you know I might get some stretches in but yes yeah, so some black leggings that I can wear with anything just something easy to toss on 
And then instead of jeans, I decided to bring these black ponte pants. So they have the five button styling like a jean, but these are so much more comfortable than jeans. So these are from Tommy Hilfiger. I bought these years and years ago, but I think they still do a similar pair. I also had some navy blue ones that I got rid of. I was trying to downsize my closet. But yeah, these are fabulous. So I think I might even wear these on the ride up. It's about a six hour drive from Manhattan to Buffalo, New York. So I'm going to wear those pants on the way up. And with it, and excuse me, I did not iron. I'll probably hit this with an iron either before I go to bed or in the morning. But it is this button-down, crisp, white cotton shirt. And this one is a long one. It's like tunic length, so it comes like mid-thigh on me. And what I love about it is I will come in here so you can see. It has these little rhinestone details on the collar. I think that just adds like an extra little touch, extra little zhuzh. And yes, I'm very, very excited to wear this. I used to wear this shirt all the time. I have tons of these kind of like tunic um, cotton shirts. So white ones, I have uh, like a pale blue colors. I want to get a pink one. If you watch my wish list video, you know that's one of the items that's on my wish list, like a pink one and a blue and white striped shirt like that. And <laughs> speaking of blue, I'm also bringing this blue Oxford um, button down shirt. So and this one has a little pocket on it. So no details on this one, but this one is extremely oversized. I can even wear this one as a dress. In fact, I have worn it as a dress. I put like a little sweater vest over it and put a belt around the waist. So this one is just like an extra item I'm going to toss into my um my bag because like I said the weather is kind of freaky right now it's like what they call it full spring <laughs> so I think one day it's going to be 65 degrees and sunny and then like two days later it's going to be 30 degrees and snowing potentially so I have to kind of pack for every eventuality <laughs> So yes, I have that top. Oh, and then for shoes with those, I am bringing one of my favorite kind of shoes to travel in, and that is a pair of Spectator Oxfords. So these are from GH Bass, and I love these shoes so much. I call them nerd shoes. I have so many of these. These are called Weegens, short for Norwegian, and I love this. They have like the little beef roll detail on the side, and uh, they just add like a fun little pop to my outfits and I always get comments and compliments anytime I wear these. So we went to Switzerland a few years back and I had a pair that were uh, like a tan and cream color because it was summertime and very warm out and I wore those the entire trip. They surprisingly went with like every single outfit that I wore. And so yes, those shoes go with just about everything that I've packed. So very excited about those and they're very comfortable. They have like this very cushioned um, insole. And so yes, I love heels, but this past year, <laughs> I don't know. I've just developed like an allergy, allergic reaction towards heels. I just, I just want comfortable. I just want comfort. It's the comfort for me. <laughs> All right, so next up we have this dress. It's from Baum und Fergarten. So I got this on sale at Nordstrom's for a song and I love it. So this dress is huge, it's, like, it's gigantic. <laughs> It's very um, oversized and flowy. It has pockets. Pockets! You know I love a dress with pockets. And I just thought this would be cute to actually wear the day that we go to the falls. So I was thinking of wearing this dress with these shoes. I just thought that would be a cool photo because usually by the falls it's kind of windy and this dress is very billowy and I can twirl in it. And yeah, the shoes are very comfortable. The dress is super comfortable because it's so like voluminous. So yeah, that is the outfit that I plan to wear to the falls. And <laughs> because you guys know I'm a content creator and I'm also kind of extra, um, I do plan to bring some like gowns with me. I'm not going to show them to you because I want to leave it as a secret and also to <laughs> keep it real for a second. 
yeah traveling with a toddler um you know you just have to be prepared to kind of go on their schedule <laughs> so the plan is to shoot some epic photos while we're in buffalo and niagara falls um and so i have some like really pretty dresses in here that are nothing practical about them at all they just photograph really well so <laughs> that's the plan the plan will that actually happen I don't know so <laughs> with that being said I was like you know as much as possible I want to try to pack things that are just cute and aesthetically pleasing even if they're not the most practical in some cases but no actually everything here is pretty practical um, so at least if I don't have time to like change and do an actual photo shoot um, <laughs> because the prints won't let me um, <laughs> I can at least in our like family photos and whatnot get some good shots so there we go there we have it and then next I'm bringing this dress this is kind of like a backup dress but I feel like you can't go wrong with an LBD or this is like a, a BBD big black dress <laughs> But this one I got from Zara. Again, it's super comfortable, also has pockets, and it's a midi length. And I will come in and show you guys the texture on this fabric is gorgeous. It's amazing. And yeah, it's like a baby doll style dress, but it's a midi dress. So this one is great. Again, it'll go perfectly with these loafers. Again, give it a pop of color. And I could probably just put on some red. I was going to say red lipstick, but if I'm wearing a mask, most likely that won't matter. But <laughs> in any case, this is a dress that I um, can also just toss on for dinner and drinks and stuff like that afterwards. Um, after all of our sightseeing during the day so or I can even just wear this to go out sightseeing if we go to some museums and things like that I can wear this so that is the next piece and then this is two items on this hanger so I have this gorgeous jacket that I got from H&M last year um, early on in winter and what I love about it is that it has these pearl details on the collar look at that how gorgeous is that so what i love about this is that it also doubles as a jacket because it is fully lined and so like i said it's going to be a bit chilly so if it's chilly i can wear this as like a shirt and just um toss on a coat over it but if it's one of those warmer days like 65 degrees i can wear this as my jacket and underneath i'm planning to wear this gorgeous bronze slip dress it's one of those satiny bias cut slip dresses with the spaghetti straps this one i got from j crew at the end of last year and i absolutely love this the quality is amazing it's fully lined and i'm very pleased with it so this dress again it's pretty slinky and sexy so i could wear it for dinner later on if we go out but during the daytime, I thought I could like make it more casual and dress it down, but still feel luxurious. Like that's my whole vacation vibe. I'm trying to give off like rich auntie vibes, you know. <laughs> so yes, I have this satiny dress and then kind of dress it down with this jacket, but it still looks because you got the pearls going on and I'll probably wear some like pearl hoop earrings. And then for footwear for this one, I have these cool tree torn mules so the back is out so they're super comfy and easy to slide into and then they have this like kind of uh bronzy metallic um logo on the side and the striped shoelaces so yeah i thought pairing these together would be really cute and still comfy all right peeps next up i forgot that i own this it was like in the back of my closet the hanger broke and it was kind of like half on the floor and not even on the rack so it is this gorgeous olive green boiler suit <laughs> i got this at h&m like maybe two years ago or a year and a half ago i don't know it was before the panini <laughs> but i love it it is so comfortable and it's oddly flattering like you wouldn't think like this like a boiler suit kind of like this janitorial looking suit would be flattering but it is because it, it cinches in at the waist it's like elastic here and then it has this belt tie and then also too it zips all the way down the front so you can kind of adjust you know how high or how low you want it to be how sexy you want to make it 
<laughs> but I totally forgot I even own this. I was on Instagram looking up some like inspiration on like what to wear. And one of my favorite Instagrammers had on a little pink jumpsuit like this. Uh, I think J. Crew had a pink one that I missed out on. I know. I sat on the fence and missed out. And I was like, wait a minute. You own one of those already. And so I thought this would be cute to wear and also pair it with these tree torn sneakers just for like a casual vibe yes cannot wait to wear this all right peeps so last but not least another outfit that i forgot about sitting in the back of my closet <laughs> during this panini um but this gorgeous corduroy overalls so i love it i love this outfit so much i used to wear this so much back when i used to go places <laughs> But in any case, I like how these aren't styled like those regular bib style overalls. This one comes all the way up on the sides and buttons in the front and it has this little belt that comes with it. This is so cute and flattering but still super comfy. And then underneath I'm going to wear this like Victorian button up shirt. So I got this from Zara. Uh, maybe about two years ago back when they were doing like a lot of tops like this and this one I love because it has this like detail and like the pin tuck it's just so feminine and pretty and so yes I cannot wait to wear this all right, so I showed you two pair of shoes, so backup shoes, because I said it is going to rain, possibly snow while we're on this trip, and I don't want to pack like snow boots, so I thought it would make sense to bring my Doc Martens. So these are my patent Doc Martens, and these basically will go with any of the outfits that I've shown you guys. So I could wear it with this dress, this dress, I could wear it with the overalls if I wanted to, definitely with the jeans and with the ponte pants. So yeah these are my rain slash snow boots <laughs> lastly if i do want to do something athletic or like do a little short hike and whatnot i'm not going to bring hiking boots but i am going to bring these gold new balance shoes so these are like my workout sneakers um they've been through their paces but they still look pretty good so yeah and again these go with pretty much everything that I packed I could wear these shoes with if I need to or even if my feet just get tired like these loafers are comfy but you know sometimes when you're on vacation you tend to walk a lot more and no matter how comfortable your shoes are sometimes your feet just need a break and just to be put into a new container <laughs> so I can switch it to those new balance if I need to I'll probably just leave those in the trunk of the car and so there you have it that is what I packed to wear those are all the shoes and oh, a little packing tip since these boots are so big and take up so much space I decided to utilize that space <laughs> so I have my shirling gloves inside for that day when it's supposed to snow <laughs> and then I also have I, mean, I can't pull them out they're like stuck in here but I also have a pair of earmuffs actually here we go I'll show you guys I actually have these like gigantic ridiculous earmuffs <laughs> I would have just brought a hat but because I have my hair in like a puff and I'll probably be doing either a puff or like a high bun um I don't want to wear a hat or bring a hat with me so earmuffs it is <laughs> all right peeps so those are all of the outfits that I'm taking with me next I want to just show you all of the other things I have packed in my bag so in terms of outerwear it's gonna be chilly i think it's going to be like 40s and 50s for the most part a weird freak snowstorm <laughs> and also it's going to be 65 degrees apparently one day so lots of different weather ranges here that we're dealing with so i thought i would bring that wool shacket from h and M. I i will pop a picture up because it's hanging up in my closet and i just don't have time to take it down right now <laughs> but yes i'm gonna wear that i like that one because it's oversized so i can layer underneath it very easily um and because it's sort of lightweight but it can be warm so i'm gonna bring that and then for days when it is really cold you know i have the earmuffs and i also have my gloves and then i also have this cool layering piece so uniglow one of my favorite pieces to shop love uniglow 
they have something cool. They have this ultra lightweight down. So I have a jacket, a vest, and then this kind of in between thing. So it's like a short sleeve jacket or short sleeve vest. And it's really lightweight, but it's super warm. And if it's really chilly, I can just layer this easily underneath my jacket for some extra warmth if I need to. So love that. These little packable jackets really come in handy. I first got into them when we went to Alaska a few years ago. I have like a little red vest and like a navy blue jacket. And they were just so great to wear. And they pack into like nothing. Hello, you can just toss this into your purse if you need to. Alright, so in terms of purses, I'm just going to bring this little coach crossbody. And then I might also bring this bag this might be the bag that I wear on the trip and this one I might keep in my luggage because it's just so small and again we're utilizing space here so inside <laughs> I pack some things as well so I have like my belts in here and then I also have my jewelry now I need to get a better jewelry storage situation for when I'm traveling because I do like to bring a lot of accessories to kind of change up my look so right now I'm just using this little jewelry bag that I got um, but I have these big dramatic hoop earrings that I'm bringing with me oops so these are those cult Gaia hoops these are more so for those outfits that are in the garment bag <laughs> my top secret outfits <laughs> and then I'm gonna bring my little gold herringbone chain from Madewell and the matching geometric choker I have my watch, which actually I'm going to leave that out because I'm going to wear that tomorrow while we drive. And just some more odds and ends. I have some gold hoop earrings from Madewell. Love these. And those will go with like all of my outfits. So sometimes I would just pack these gold hoops and those necklaces and that would be it in my watch. But like I said, I do want to try to create some content. So I'm trying to like bring a little bit more variety. So I have these like pearl little hoops that I'll definitely wear with that pearl jacket and that bronze slip dress. And then for that shirt that I showed you guys with the embellishments on the collar, these earrings match almost perfectly. But yes, these earrings are like so dramatic. They're these like rhinestone clip-ons and they go perfectly and match the details on that shirt. And then I just have like a pair of pearl stud earrings with like the little earring jacket just for some zhuzh. And then my trusty Hermes bracelet. So because I am wearing so much black, I like to wear this. And I'll probably leave that out too because I'm going to be wearing that tomorrow morning on the drive. And that is it for accessories. So, oh, wait. So this, I only break out for special occasions. I usually bring it anytime I travel, like regardless of the season, but it is my Hermes scarf. It's the Maxi Twilly which you know in terms of price per like yard of fabric is the best bang for your buck <laughs> but yes this is the maxi twilly and i love this one i love the colorway i love all the interesting details it has like a little tiger on it it has the Hermes like um equestrian like the buckles and the leather so it's got a lot going on so depending on how you tie it um, you can show a lot of different things. So I'm bringing this for a couple of reasons. One, it's beautiful. It's gorgeous. And I also have like a little scarf ring. Ooh, that reminds me. I almost forgot to pack my scarf ring. But yes, I have this scarf ring. I have one in gold and I also have one in silver right here. And so with this scarf ring, what you can do is you can tie the scarf all different kinds of ways. So you take your scarf like this, for example, and you pull it through one side. And then you pull the other end through this side and it kind of just holds your scarf in place and you can tie it all kinds of different ways this is just one way maybe I'll do like a video like or maybe this might even be better for TikTok um, <laughs> but you can like tie the scarf all different kinds of ways and make a cute bow kind of do something like that so yes I love this is probably one of the best luxury designer purchases I've ever made because you can do so much with it and let me tell you whenever I wear this 
I get so many compliments and I get just treated nicer nicelier <laughs> I just get treated a lot more nicely when I go places too <laughs> when you know when you like look the part so in any case yes so I love to wear this like with like a trench coat or like even with my shack and I have the collar popped and I kind of throw this scarf on with it so beautiful so classy I've only briefly shown you like two ways you can use a scarf ring but there's so much more you can do with this yeah definitely definitely if you're into scarves and things like that invest in a scarf ring there's actually one from Airman's that I want to get this one I just got off Amazon but yeah highly highly recommend also too the maxi twilly comes in lots of different colors and prints and like I said really good bang for your buck and you can do so much with it you can even like if it's a warm weather vacation you can even take it and tie it behind your head and if you have like a little convertible and you're just driving <laughs> with some big sunglasses you have your little Jackie O moment but yes love this I know this is just something I bring on every vacation and it really adds a lot to your outfits all right guys next in my bag I definitely have all of my unmentionables and I keep them in a packing cube if you have not experienced the joys of packing cubes you are doing it all wrong <laughs> I love packing cubes so this brand is eco bags I got them from Amazon so in terms of quality these aren't the best I think I might get some like better ones but to be fair I've had these for a few years now I have two sets from eco bags no this is from eco bags and this one is from sharper image i would say that the sharper image they're newer by like maybe a year or two and they seem to have held up a little bit better than the eco bags because like if you can see here this one's kind of torn um i keep meaning to sew it but like i just haven't had time so in any case the sharper image bags are great um <laughs> but in any case it still gets the job done even if it is torn but yeah so in here i have all of my bras panties my nap dress i'm bringing i have a pair of like satin pajamas in here and i have my little leopard <laughs> my little leopard slippers that don't take up much space and some socks and i think that's it in this bag oh and a little satin robe so yeah all of my unmentionables goes in here and what's great about the packing cubes too is that I don't know about you but I like to keep my dirty clothes separate from my clean ones so <laughs> as vacation goes on usually what I'll do is we have like a dirty clothes drawer <laughs> we designate in the dresser and so I throw them all in there and then when I'm packing I can put everything that's like dirty and maybe smelly and put them in the packing cube so they're not touching my cleaner clothes if I've worn everything so yes just a little tip for you this also works well um, if we were flying I probably would share a suitcase with Christian and so whenever I fly or travel with Christian and we're sharing a bag especially I will put his clothing in a packing cube as well as mine just so we can keep our items separate so another little tip for you guys all of my toiletries <laughs> are in here so yes I don't know here's the thing obviously this is a lot of stuff but to be fair this is like all of my makeup all of my hair products all of my you know shower things and whatnot and I threw in a lot of extra stuff because we're renting a house we're gonna rent a whole Airbnb and when I'm on vacation I like to pamper myself so I like to give myself you know bubble baths so I got bath bombs in here I like to give myself you know face masks so I got that in here too and so I got I have a lot <laughs> a lot of things that I don't necessarily use on a normal basis when I'm at home but when I'm on vacation like I said I don't want to skimp and compromise on my beauty regimen so I keep everything in here and you know to be fair this is not as full no it's pretty full I'm lying <laughs> but this is it this is like all of my personal items so like everything that I need for my hair my comb my brush um, the whole kit and caboodle even oh I'll show you guys something I have in here that's cool <clears throat> my pill sorter so all my vitamins so I got my allergy pills my vitamins you know gotta keep the immune system up because of this panini <laughs> so I do have those in here as well and then I never travel without earplugs and a sleeping mask 
because you never know sometimes there's just weird noises and whatnot you're in a new environment and like i said when i'm on vacation i want to relax and be rested and then i also have this eye mask the eye mask is because you never know if there's going to be some weird light <laughs> that shines in your window or who knows what can happen so a little travel tip and then another one you're probably not going to see this travel tip <laughs> anywhere else on youtube but um, this is called a bio bidet. So let me explain. A couple of years ago, we attached a bidet to our toilet in our apartment and it was a game changer. Oh my gosh, we used so much less toilet paper and I don't know why Americans haven't like really glommed on to the bidet, but I don't know. It's just nice to be fresh and clean. <laughs> This is probably the most talk about behinds that you will hear on this channel, so bear with me. So that being said, I got used, I fell in love with the bidet attachment we have at home. And then we went on our baby moon to South Carolina and that was the first time I traveled since we had that bidet. And can I tell you that I missed it? <laughs> I was like six or now seven months pregnant six seven months pregnant at the time and I was like enjoying the vacation but a constant thought anytime I went to the restroom <laughs> was like man I really wish we had a bidet here <laughs> and that's when I found out that they sell them they sell portable bidets so it's this water bottle and you can fill it with warm water and then it has this nozzle that comes out at, you know the perfect angle for you know what <laughs> so it's very easy to use and you just squeeze it and it surprisingly has like a lot of pressure um, that comes out so it gets you clean um yeah so your girl travels with her own portable bidet cuz that's what I like to do <laughs> yes so yeah I don't think you will see that tip anywhere else but yes I highly highly recommend that <laughs> so yeah I think that was the most interesting thing in this bag everything else is pretty standard toothbrush toothpaste yada 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 <laughs> but there you have it all right peeps so there you have it everything that I'm packing for my week-long family trip up to Buffalo New York and Niagara Falls I'm so looking forward to this break words cannot express <sighs> Sometimes you just need a little woosah. Definitely planning to be zen, spend some time with the family, hopefully squeeze in some photo shoots for you guys, and I plan to vlog. That's the plan. <laughs> but as we know in life, plans do change. But stay tuned. I would love to take you guys along with me on this trip. So... With that being said, we must draw this vlog to a close because your girl has to go to bed. <laughs> Gotta be up bright and early tomorrow morning, bright-eyed and bushy-tailed. So thank you so much for tuning in, listening to me talk about clothes and talk about portable bidets. <laughs> and all that good stuff. Uh, if you like this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe and hit the bell for notifications i put out videos on beauty fashion lifestyle weekly sometimes twice and until next time stay classy and stay fabulous